Center, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. So, my lunar brothers and sisters, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So uh, for your key to the week this week you have the death card right? This week something has come to its natural end and you know what it's really funny because usually Cancerians have this energy of you know what I'll do what I can to save it whereas this week I kind of feel like whatever is being phased out is something that you want to let go or something that you're ready to be done. Maybe it's a conversation that you keep having to have with a partner, maybe it is um, a thought pattern or a thought process, maybe it's a defense mechanism that you have that has seen you through some really hard times but is no longer viable is no longer um sorry <laughs> is no longer something that's going to help you or serve you going forward this could be that week where you're saying right you know what i'm okay to let this go i'm okay to let it see its natural end so for our actions and options we have the ace of cups right so this is something to do with your emotional world or your emotional body for those of you that know Eckhart Tolle, uh, I, I mean, some people call him Eckhart Tolle. I call him Eckhart Tolle. That just feels right to me. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm getting it right, but that's how I say it. Um, in his book, A New Earth, brilliant book, by the way, um, he postulates a, a, a pain body, like literally a, a, a body of emotion that stores all of your traumas and your pains. And your Ace of Cups and your actions and options, this is about your heart space, right? This is about what you're doing. And this week, I do feel like there's something either rattling around in your emotional self, in your emotional world, uh, whether this is in your partnerships, whether your familial ties, uh, maybe just the way that you view yourself. There's something this week that you are truly ready and able to transcend and let go of. It's kind of like you can take that hurt, angry, scared, beaten up part of yourself and say, you know what, you kept me safe thank you for that but it's time for you to go now it's time for you to be laid to rest the ace of cups is a new beginning as well this is about you being on the alert for all the new things that can come in for you especially when it comes to love when it comes to emotions when it comes to true connections the other thing with this as well the ace of cups is about you birthing something into the world so i like this i really like this so you, it looks like you're going to get a chance to maybe express something um, that you haven't fought a while or that you you know maybe you haven't been given time or credence to do previously for your communications and conversations you have the three of swords now you've got the death card there right so this week there is a conversation about letting something go the ace of cups is here as well so it's kind of like you're going in a new direction but in order to go in this new direction you're having to close a door behind you you're having to close a chapter behind you and this week you are it's like you're letting something go and you could be having a conversation that maybe really hurts you in the heart space or maybe you are saying you know what this aspect of self needs to go or somebody highlights something to you and you're like wow yeah you know what I do do that and it no longer serves or helps me so I'm gonna let that go I know what this is for me personally um, and as many of you know I've undergone a move recently and uh, for me uh, that whole energy the whole energy of moving throws up a lot of old wounds and pains and all the rest of it and I'm now beginning the process of really phasing that out um, you know the fact that I moved to a, a home with the energy vibration of the number nine means that I'm ready to close out that cycle so <laughs> you know in true fashion I you know I walk my talk right I live my my stuff just like everybody else so for your money and materials we have the nine of cups this is beautiful right underneath the ace of cups as well right this is great because you've got the one and nine energy which combined gives you a kind of solar sun vibe energy ace of cups wish fulfillment or something of a new beginning when it comes to the heart space or the emotion body or world nine of cups true wish fulfillment there could be a really amazing step forward or an opportunity that's presented this week but it is going to require you to give something in order to get to this next stage or this next level or take 
take this financial upswing, you're going to have to give something in order to get to that next level. In order to receive your present, there's going to be something, it's kind of like one of those things like someone says, I've, I've got to give you this, but you've got all your hands full. You're going to have to put something down in order to accept what's coming in. And that's the energy that I get from this. Um, for those of you that have put applications out, uh, I feel like this is the week where you are literally hearing back from a job uh, when it comes to your finances. If there's something that you've applied for that you need on a financial level, this could be some really good news in that regard. When it comes to your physical health, this is a great week. And I actually feel like this is the week where you're going to start to see some progress for the efforts that you've already put in when it comes to how you're looking after your physical self. And we've seen this a process right for cancerian energy for a while um, and then for uh, your home and environment look at this you're welcoming something in to the home environment that is truly going to be kind of like a cherry on the cake energy which i really really love um lord knows i don't need any more cakes though <laughs> <laughs> for our uh, love and relations we have the world tree right so for those of you that are single there's a change in status you could be meeting somebody this week if you've been seeing somebody or toying around with somebody you know maybe chatting to someone all the rest of it this could be the week where you say you know what let's go on a date or you know what let's you know we've done this kind of dance for long enough let's make it official um for those of you that are engaged you could be getting married for those of you that are you know long-term partnership you could be getting engaged the other thing is about this as well um it looks like the person that you are connecting with is very likely to be either older than you or somebody that is um you know their work is very you know like they're in in some sort of position of authority or power on, uh, when it comes to those of you that are partnered, there's something about your relationship that takes an amazing turn this week. It's like the relationship deepens or you reach a point of true mutual respect and understanding. Um, and that's not to say that you didn't have it before. This is just a new level of it, which is gonna create a depth. So remember with trees, right? As I go on about trees all the time, because I'm such a such a forest witch. I, I love, you know, any if I can put my toes in the dirt or in the sand or, you know, put my hands on trees and grass and all the rest of it, I am at home, that is me, right? I am, that is my soul. I'm sure that I was the crazy weirdo witch wizard guy that lived on the outskirts of the village, um, you know, wore his robe, spoke in rhymes and spent all his time with the animals and the forest. I think that was me in a past life, I really do. Because <laughs> that's how I'm happiest. Uh, but anyway, I'm waffling now. But yeah, as deep as the roots of the tree go, de uh, de delineates how high the branches and the, the tree, you know, the, the trunk can grow. And that's what this is kind of saying when it comes to your relationships this week, as powerfully deep as that connection can be, it means that your roots are deepening because there's a newfound layer of trust, understanding, mutual connection. And this may very well be that this week you and a partner are having a conversation that may be very challenging where you or they need to let something go, but it deepens the bond. It's not ruining it. Like to have this conversation, to go down this difficult path, it opens something up. It deepens something for the relationship. So love this. I think this is actually going to be a good week for Cancerians. Um, I think you guys are going to ride this energy probably better than most, but we shall see how it shapes up. Let me know in the comments. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.